Hi guys and welcome to another video. So today I'm going to show you all how to make this cake roll charm. So let's go ahead and get started with the colors that you will need. You will need a light yellow and a light pink. Go ahead and take the light yellow and light pink and flatten it out and then place them on top of each other and cut into a square. Now then adjust it to the size that you want. Now, really think about um, how, how much icing you want into the swirl, how detailed you want the swirl to be in the cake roll, and then how thick you want um, the cake roll slice to be as well. So once I was done with that, I went ahead and rolled it up and put it into the fridge for about 10 minutes to make sure it wouldn't flatten on me when I... Um, when I cut into it. So go ahead and do that. And then cut the ends off. Now if you used a little bit more clay than me, then you'd be able to make different uh, slices. But I just used only a small amount because I wanted to make one charm just to show you all how to do it. So with the amount that I used, you could probably make two slices but I liked the longer um, part of the cake roll so go ahead and do whatever you want to it's really your choice then take off the dirt from the charm this does take a little bit but really make sure to take it all off or it kind of look weird with dirt on or dust on a cake roll I used my fingernail for this, but if you have a needle tool or anything of the sort, you can use that as well, and it probably would work just the same. Now I went ahead and textured it with my toothbrush. This did take a little bit, but you really want to not get any of the texture onto the icing at all, because that's the icing, of course, and icing isn't like the cake. And if you want to, you can go ahead and shade this charm as well. I forgot to, so I didn't do it. But um, do whatever you want to, I guess. It's really your choice. Now, if you want to leave it like this and not add a face or any detail, that is fine. I went ahead and added a face and a little strawberry on top. And the face did take a little bit. If you want to see how to make different faces, go ahead and click the link in the description box below and it will link you to a video that I made on how to make different Palmer clay faces. You can add it in whatever position you'd like to until you're really happy with the way it looks. Take the time to make the face and make it look right because that is one of the main reasons why the charm looks the way it does. So for the strawberry, I forgot to film it, but you just want to take some pink clay, roll it into a teardrop shape, use a needle tool to add some texture onto it, and then add some leaves on top of it. Flip it upside down. Using TLS, add it on top of the cake roll, and then you're done. Now if you want to add anything else on top, or if you want to use different colors, you can go ahead and do that as well. Um, but that's it for the video. So if you guys enjoyed watching, give it a thumbs up and subscribe down below for more videos. And if you have any suggestions, also tell me in the comments below. Thank you guys for watching. Bye!